Hey guys, this is In Between, and welcome to my video on my vinyl collection. Essentially, what I'm going to be doing is just telling you about each of my records. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into it, just a brief description on each one. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, first one is Abbey Road, uh, good album, uh, pressing's good, Australian pressing. Um, sounds good on my turntable, and. Um, yeah, I'd pick this up if you don't have it already. Recommend this album. Next is Moon Dance by Van Morrison. Uh, good album. Pressing sounds good. Um, there's a lot of great jazz songs on here and um, great instrumental um, performances. So if you haven't got this already, pick it up. Um, the Message by Grandmaster Flash and The Furious Five. Um, the Message, uh, there's a couple good songs in here. She's Fresh, It's a Nasty, Scorpio, The Message, The Adventures of Grandmaster Flash, and The Wheels of Steel. Not the best album ever, there are a few forgettable cuts on here, but it's, it's still a recommendation from me. And the pressing sounds quite good too. Elvis Costello and the Attractions Get Happy. This is like Stax Motown type music, uh, soul music, if you will. It's quite good, not my favorite by him, but still quite good. The pressing sounds great. There is a warp at the beginning that makes it skip a little, but that's only on the first track, A Love for Tender. But good album, and recommend this as well. Next one, Magical Mystery Tour. Great album, actually one of my favorites. Has a lot of great songs in here, singles, um, etc. Pressing sounds good too, although there is some sound degradation on some tracks. Someone must have really liked the song Penny Lane because it sounds like shit, but I digress. Great album. Uh, please pick it up if you haven't. Next one, we have Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Original 67 mono pressing. Sounds okay, there is quite a bit of static and sound degradation, but still sounds good. And honestly, um, it wasn't that expensive. So I took what I could get, and this is a great, um, one of the greatest albums. Not my personal favorite. There are Beatles albums that I like better, but this is still a good album, and I highly recommend picking it up if you haven't. This next one is just like a DJ mix that I use for turntables, turntables and stuff, like I, um, just to experiment, but yeah, not much to say. I, it's I Will Survive, basically, but dance remix, essentially. Um, it's okay, don't really listen to it much, but still, I'm um, okay, and I don't really recommend picking this up, but um, I guess it has some use in my collection. Then we have the White Album. Unfortunately, with this pressing, this only has one disc, and doesn't come with the photos, but it does come with the poster, uh, but it's, it's taped up. But it was at Vinnie's or like an op shop for like two bucks and honestly like for two bucks get the poster and one vinyl it's not a bad deal and the sound quality is not terrible. It's okay, it's listenable but I want a different pressing which better has both discs. But yeah, great album though and actually one of my favourite Beatles LPs so um, pick it up if you haven't even though it is expensive. One of my favourite albums of all time, Revolver. Original 66 pressing. I do not know how I managed to get this at the price, I think I paid somewhere between 40 and 50 for it, but man was it worth it. It's such a good album. Sounds great on mono, sounds very clean on this pressing. This is my best sounding Beatles 65 pressing, I'm sorry, 66 pressing, what I meant to say, and I um, highly recommend this album. If you haven't, pick it up. Next one is Beatles 6. An American um, LP. It just has songs from, I believe, Help, Beatles for Sale, yeah, and some songs that were recorded specifically for it, I think, such as Bad Boy and Yes It Is, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. I think Yes It Is was a single, but I know Bad Boy for sure was recorded specifically for the American market, but. Anyway, this album's actually not that bad. It's actually quite good. The songs flow well, even though there are, there are some duds like Tell Me What You See and You Like Me Too Much, which are okay, but just don't really gel well with me. Anyway, um, this is a great album, and 
if you're interested in the American albums, I highly recommend picking up. And I like, I really like the artwork, so that's another reason why I picked it up. But yeah, I recommend this one. This is Help. Um, some good folk rock, um, you know, blues, uh, different genres on this album. Uh, kind of a proto rubber solo, if you will. Um, this is original 65 pressing UK. Uh, it sounds okay. It sounds better than my Sgt. Pelotons, but it doesn't sound as good as my Revolver pressing. But yeah, great album and would recommend. Now this next one is, um, I think 2009-2012 reissue of A Hard Day's Night on stereo. It actually doesn't sound that bad despite it being digitally sourced. It sounds very detailed. Um, my, at least my cartridge and speakers do a god of job of recreating the sound and making it sound full and everything so yeah if you if you're interested in this album it's good for vinyl the songs are really good apart from maybe one or two I don't really care for but still a solid album and do pick it up now these next ones kind of an unappreciated artist here we have musical youth Youth of Today and Different Style, and these albums are uh, quite good, quite underrated, especially this one, uh, The Youth of Today. A lot of good reggae, pop reggae, new wave type songs on this one, and has actually a lot of quite good lyrics about, you know, the youth culture and, you know, how young people are kind of um, portrayed in society. But yeah, this is a great album. Took a few listens to like really appreciate it, but once I did, I got it. This one's not as good, but it still has a lot of great songs on it. But you can't really go wrong with either of these. But if you have to get one, this is the one to get. Um, um, they haven't repressed it, but original pressing sound quite good. This one sounds good and this one sounds good, so you can't go wrong. So um, musical you view for today and different style. Recommended. All right, one of my favorite albums of all time. Remain in Light by Talking Heads. One of the few albums I've given a 10 to, apart from, I think, Pet Sounds and Revolver, which I know are, are very cliche picks for 10, but they're great albums anyway. Um, I digress, this is a great funk, African New Wave album. Lots of great songs on it. Just amazing album. This pressing sounds good. It has some sound degradation because it's an original Belgian pressing from 1980, but still, great album and I recommend picking it up on vinyl if you haven't already. Next album is The Clash. London Calling. Um, oh, it's London Calling. But I digress, great album. Not my favorite Clash album. I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I kind of prefer Sand and Easter and Combat Rock, but because uh, the I like the styles that they, they do on on Sand and Easter and Combat Rock. I feel like London Calling while very good with, you know, the blues, uh, reggae, ska, and like punk in terms of styles. I think Sand and Easter took it to a new level. Like it had a lot more songs that I like, but I guess it's a more inconsistent album. But I digress. This is a great album and it sounds great on this particular pressing. Very full. I can like bump this really loud and it sounds clear, but. Um, Anyway, great album, and I highly recommend you pick it up. Alright, this next one is The Visitors by ABBA. This is actually one of the best albums in terms of full LPs. Um, great album, has some of the best songs, such as the title track, Heads Over Heels, Let the Music Speak, I Let the Music Speak, sorry. Soldiers. Yeah, this, yeah, this just has a lot of, just listen to this whole album, it's... A great experience from start to finish. I believe this is an original um, Swedish pressing. Uh, yeah, it is. I think so, yeah. Anyway, um, great album and I highly recommend picking it up. <sighs> While well, on the subject of ABBA, Super Trooper, pretty much, if not um, on the same level as The Visitors. Great album. If you can only have one ABBA album, it's really hard to choose, but this one would probably be it. But please get both of these. This is, these are both great albums um yeah um, highly recommend it. all right next one is blonde on blonde by bob dylan uh this is a new pressing great sound great songs great album would recommend uh please pick it up if you haven't already 
uh, bringing it back or home Bob Dylan uh, this is actually an old pressing I think it's an original 65 pressing CBS yeah uh, this is really good quality stereo uh, there is a skip on it's all right mom I'm only bleeding but um, to be honest it's not a big deal and uh, sounds good so I can't complain highly recommend Saturday Night Fever disco um, theme record uh, sounds quite good a lot of great songs pick it up if you like disco dance music but yeah this is the uh pretty much the front runner release but um great album and i would highly recommend picking it up all right box gags and bill cosby i don't know why i picked this up i picked this up years ago just out of curiosity this isn't that good um although some of the jokes are okay and I haven't listened to this yet, if I'm being totally honest, but yeah, both, I really need to listen to these again, but I don't know, I might give them away at some point, but I digress. This one is Smile, by the Beach Boys. Uh, this is Brian Wilson's Lost Album. A lot of great songs on here. Uh, Do You Like Worms, Good Vibration, Surf's Up, etc. Um, it sounds really good on vinyl, very clear, 180 grand. Um, awesome album and I recommend picking it up then you have Beach Boy Summer Days and Summer Nights in mono and this is an original UK pressing because US pressings are always expensive for whatever reason but yeah this is a great album and would recommend picking it up even though some people say it's kind of weak but I don't know any album with tracks like Salt Lake City Girl Don't Tell Me, Help Me Run to California Girls, Let Them Run Wild and you know the girl from new york city i don't think it's a weak album i think it's an awesome album but i digress great album i would recommend the sound quality is quite good too for a mono old mono present this one is today by the beach boys kind of similar opinions on the last one awesome album the sound quality is not as good but um still a great album nonetheless um this one's like an australian I think, yeah, Australian version of Magical Mystery Tour with this alternate cover. Um, I don't really listen to this that often because I like to listen to the uh, other pressing I showed earlier. But yeah, I digress. Uh, good album, same as before, would recommend. Okay, this is uh, the Beatles 62 to 66. Um, it opens up. And uh, yeah, it's just got all this the songs from the first um, four years of their career and yeah a lot of great songs on this and um, if you just want like a condensed you know s um, view of the Beatles tracks then this is the perfect place to start recommended next one got Elvis Costello Armed Forces um, my th uh, second favorite Elvis Costello LP uh, great sound quality, great album, great LP. If you haven't listened to it already, please pick it up. And it's, you know, new wave, kind of post-punkish music. And if you enjoy it, I think you'll enjoy this. Great album, would recommend. And um, sorry if I haven't described every album, but I'm just trying to get through everything as quickly as possible. But you can, if you find a particular album interesting, then you can kind of look it up yourself and yeah but I digress Giant Steps by John Coltrane probably my second favorite Con John Coltrane album awesome album has a lot of great songs on it um if I I'm not gonna even read them out because it's all the songs essentially so but yeah great album and would recommend Culture Club Color by Numbers great album the best album by far some weak tracks here and there but honestly overall it's a Great album. If you like new wave, pop, 80s stuff, then you'll like this. NWA, um, on reverse it says um, N for life, basically. And yeah, this, this actually LP is really good. Um, I'm not going to go as far as to say it's better than um, Straight Outta Compton, as you can see here. But both these LPs are quite good. The only problem is the vinyl release emits certain... Um, tracks from each of them and which I kind of hate but these are both great gangster rap LPs although this one's more um, G-Funk 
type sound, while this is more just straight gangster rap. But both of them offer me different things that I come back to, so yeah. Great LPs, and these sound awesome. Yeah, I don't, this is on 180 gram, but yeah, the sound on these are awesome, so definitely pick these up. Because I know original pressings are expensive, but yeah, I digress. Um, next ones, um, Monkeys, Instant Replay. This is one of their later albums, and it's, it's, it's good, I mean, there are a lot of great songs that are underappreciated, like the Free Looking Glass, and essentially every track on this album. It's not their best album by any means, but it's still pretty solid, and I would recommend giving a listen. Uh, ah, yes, Head. Um, the soundtrack to their movie, the Monkeys movie, and this soundtrack is awesome. Definitely one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, underappreciated. If you take anything away from this video, please listen to this album. This album is fucking awesome. No hyperbole. Like, it's just awesome, but yeah, please give this a listen, and yeah, what, what else can I say? I um, highly recommend it, and the sound is really good. It's an original pressing from 1968. It's its 50th anniversary this year, so please listen to this. Recommend it. Um, this album is another Monkeys album, Pisces, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Jones LTD. Uh, the second best album, or third, like it changes, but... This album, it's a UK pressing, I believe. Yeah, and yeah, it's it's awesome. A lot of great songs on this. Um, please listen to this as well. This is a great album too. But yeah, highly recommend a great psych rock um, LP. The same with Head as well. Um, if you like that kind of sound, then you'll like this. Recommend it. Now this this is the same album again, but it um it's an original US pressing. You can tell the slight difference, and the and the pictures on the back are bigger. And yeah, great album. This actually sounds probably a bit better, which is strange, but anyway, great album, recommend it. Monkeys Live, 1967, great um, live LP. And I kind of go come back to this, even though it's not the best played, and the, it showed that the monkeys could play their own instruments. Um, same with uh, Pisces, Headquarters, and Head. The one I showed before, they all played on their records, um, um, Headquarters and Onwards, which was their third album. So if you didn't know that, then now you know they played the instruments. But I digress. Great album, and if you're Monkey Monkeys fan or interested in their live output, then I'd recommend this. Headquarters. This is the first album they started playing their own instrument, and really good. A lot of solid tracks on here. Another one that you should check out if you're interested in anything Monkeys related. This is uh, more of the Monkeys before they got creative control, but this has a lot of great songs too. I don't recommend it as much, but it's still quite good. And a lot of great pop songs in this too, so yeah, recommend it. This next one is, uh, I don't know if you'll believe this, but it's The Four Seasons. American Crucifixion and Resurrection. Uh, this is like the take on the psych pop genre, and it's actually really unappreciated. And uh, I recommend picking this up just to see what the Four Seasons is doing psychedelic music would sound like. Yeah, it's it's strange, but it's good. Um, yeah, underappreciated, and would recommend. Sound quality's good too. Uh, Louis Lou, la, Lou Reed, Transformer. Um, Honestly, this album's good, don't get me wrong, but it's not a classic. It, there are a couple weak tracks, and yeah, there are a lot of classic songs on here, but um, I, I feel like as an album, cohesively as a whole, it's not like what it's made out to be, but it's still a very classic album, and I'd still recommend picking it up. Alright, let's have a look at these ones. Alright, okay, first... We have Back to the Egg by Wings. Um, if I would say what is the most underrated album of all time, uh, no, it's not the most underrated album of all time, but trust me, this is one underrated album. From start to finish, it's just awesome album, exploring new wave, rock, pop, different types of genres, and yeah, it Honestly, the cover's awesome too. Like, um, I would check it out. 
try not because I know critics bash this album when it came out, but really I don't understand the hate. It's quite a good album, and I would recommend. Um, I hate that there's a tear here that just kills me because I love the cover so much. But I digress. Great album, and would recommend picking up. Band on the Run, uh, great album. This is the obvious, you know, critically acclaimed one in their discography. Great album, great quality, and etc. Would recommend. This is the Mike Nesmith album, The Witchica Train, This Is Sings. This is a great album, and I would recommend giving you a listen. It's kind of orchestral type of interpretation of the monkey songs and Mike Nesmith compositions. Um, if you're into that stuff, you'll like it. I don't mind it, so I actually kind of ended up liking it, so quite good. Would recommend This is uh, Kylie Rae Jepsen's Emotion. Good synth pop music. Love it. Um, a lot of good songs. I don't know. I don't know what happened here. Maybe the uh, LP got stuck to another LP. Gosh, yeah. Look here. I didn't realize when I put it on the shelf that the the tape kind of ripped off the black, which which fucking sucks. But oh well. Um. Anyway, the LP's still fine, and um, great album. If you want some new music, um, please give this a listen. Great up. Uh, Hughes Corporation Rock and Soul. I just bought this because I like. Um, rock, rock the boat, yeah, so much. I listen to the album. It's actually not that bad. It's a lot of good soul disco jams on here, and if you like that kind of music, then I'd recommend this. So pick that up. Okay, last two are Rick Astley. Hold me in your arms. Um, boy. Um, uh, another kind of unappreciated album. Not phenomenal, but. Um, great set of dance pop, you know, um, kind of well beat type of music. Um, Hold Me In Your Arms, the title track is awesome. I don't care what everyone, anyone says, fight me if you hate it. But I digress. Um, great album. Um, not fantastic or anything. Not hyping it up to be this masterpiece, but it is solid pop tracks that I would recommend checking out. This one's a bit weird since I f found this um, in someone's house and they didn't want it so they just gave it but this is like one LP of a um, double LP I believe but yeah it's Wham and a lot of good songs here and I would recommend giving just Wham in general some listens especially like Make It Big and um, the final, I think, cut or final, I can't remember the album title, but anyway, um, good LP, sounds good, and would recommend picking up the thing. Um, alright. Ah, uh, okay. Purple Rain by Prince and the Revolution. Great 80s album. Awesome, phenomenal. Recommend, if you haven't heard it already, pick it up. Yeah, that's all I have to say about it. It's, it's fucking Purple Rain. Get it. Tyler the Creator's Flower Boy. Awesome album. Good rap, neo soul type sound. If you want to get into rap music, if you think rap music is shit, then you're wrong. And this album is proof that rap is good, along with To Pimp a Butterfly and a lot of other albums that have come out in the last 10 years. But, I digress, great album. It's on colored vinyl, I believe. Yeah. As you can see a little bit, you can see the colored vinyl right here. I don't wanna show it all cause I'm trying to get through everything. Semi quickly, I know this video is already long as it fucking is, but. Anyway. Yeah, great album. Flower, Tyler the Creator, Flower Boy, recommended. Um, give a listen. Kate Bush, Never Forever. Awesome, uh, new wavy kind of art pop record. Um, um, awesome, um, not as good as Hounds of Love or um, The Dreaming, but 
Still an awesome LP, and I recommend kind of listening to it after you've kind of listened to those two I mentioned. But yeah, um, would recommend. All right, so the Who Sell Out, uh, my personal favorite Who album, even though I know most people won't agree with me, but I digress. Great album. This album has great sound, and would recommend you check this out if you haven't gone to the Who or you're looking for more Who music. But yeah, great album. Okay, this is. We are only in it for the money. Yeah, that's the title. Yeah, this is just a crazy um, psych parody album, and it's just all over the place. It's awesome. If you're looking again to Frank Zappa, I reckon this is a good start, along with uh, Freak Out. But yeah, awesome album, and would recommend Simon and Garfunkel, Parsley Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme. Great kind of little. Um, Baroque um, pop record, you know, um, kind of unappreciated in the discography, but I know it's praise, so I, that's not necessarily true, but a great album and would recommend if you're like Sergeant Simon Garfunkel. Um, Vampire Weekend, Modern Vampires of the City. Um, uh, stupid Voices aside, this is a great album. Um, definitely grown on me throughout the years since its release. Um, sounds great. Um, definitely give this a listen if you want some new indie, um, industrial type music. But yeah, awesome stuff. And would recommend giving it a try. <laughs> okay, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, Poppy Computer. Um, shiny. Um, yeah, this is like synth pop, um, uh, electro kind of album. And it's pretty good. I, I I like the sounds that Poppy explores in this album. You know, she, look at this. Like, <laughs> like yeah, this is insane. But um, I digress. Great album. If you want some kooky, weird, parody-driven pop music, then this would be the one to check out. And I believe it's on white vinyl as well. And. Uh, Speeding right through it because I don't want to waste time with everything, but yeah, great album. Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, or if you want me to do it like Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino, like like in Alex Turner voice, but anyway, this is the newest Arctic Monkeys album, and it's quite good. It has a lot of um great songs that grew over me a lot over time. And yeah, I'd recommend just giving this a listen, a try. Listen to it a couple times, because it doesn't get you on the first listen, but on that, like, third, fourth listen, you'll go, hey, wait, this is actually really good, but yeah, would recommend. Alright, some more stuff. Mac DeMarco. This old dog. Indie. Pop. Stoner. Whatever you want to call it. Great album. Not my favorite. It has a few duds, but still kind of cool. Has a gatefold. Enough said. Recommend if you like this kind of music and you want some more new music. The Young Veins take a vacation. Um, good album. Uh, a lot of great songs on this. Um, it's like modern Kinks Beatles type sound. It was recorded in 2009, 2010, so it's quite recent. So, if you want beatles -y, poppy stuff that isn't the Beatles, then I give this a listen. And if you like Panic at the Disco and you want some music outside of that that has music from the same band members, the Ryan Ross, I believe his name is, uh, I recommend picking this up. New Radicals. Maybe you, you have been brainwashed too. Yep, that's the title. Um, this has, you know, you, um... You can you get what you give. That's the popular song that's on this thing. But the whole album's great. Like flows great. A lot of good songs. A few duds, but honestly, the the positives are so good that I can forgive. Yeah, great album. Would recommend. Um, yeah. Panic at the Disco. Pretty odd. This is when they kind of went Beatlesy, not like pop like they did in the past. Um, good album. Underrated. We recommend if you want more of that Beatlesy Sgt. Pepper sound. And yeah, awesome album. And yeah, pick it up. 
King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard Murder of the Universe. <coughs> uh, this album, I haven't listened to this in a while, but I remember liking it a bit. It's kind of longer type, um, psych rock album. If you like new music that's more experimental, long-winded, has uh, a spoken word, and is epic, then I reckon this is the thing for you. Um, would recommend. Alright, we're getting down to our last few. If you're still watching. The Regrets. Feel your feelings, fool. Uh, great little um, Riot Girl, Go Riot, punk album. Although it's kind of pop mixed with punk, it's kind of weird. But if you like music that has 60s sensibilities, but um, punk with punk added in and a bit of um, pop good measure, then you'll like this album. Great album, a lot of good songs on this. Would recommend. Uh, Danny Brown, Atrocity Exhibition. Great rap album. Would recommend if you want some new rap music that isn't bad. It's absolutely good. Um, a bit experimental, not for everyone, but again, I'd recommend picking this up if you want a bit more experimental in your music taste, but yeah, would recommend this. Alright, next up is West Side Story, um, the original movie cast recording, I believe, and one of my favourite musicals, Why I Have It, pretty much, um, hope you can see that, awesome um, soundtrack. Um, wouldn't live without it. Um, underrated in all the right ways, even though it is an underrated. Um, I just think it's underrated because no one talks about it, but I digress. Next one is the Black Keys Rubber Factory. Best LP by this guy's good blues rock. Jimi Hendrix type stuff. If you like your modern music with a more bluesy Jimi Hendrix rockish edge, then you'll like this. Recommend it. Sounds good. Ma Miles Davis at the Carnegie Hall. Um, great jazz album. Would recommend listening to if you want some good live jazz by the master himself, Miles Davis. So yeah, recommended. Sounds good. The Police Synchronicity, um, great little album. Has a lot of the best songs in here. Every breath you take. Um, oh my God, Walking in Your Footsteps, King of Pain, Teen Sahara. Although it does have a few questionable cuts on here. You know what I'm talking about if you've ever heard this album, but. I digress, great album, pick it up. Um, Slater Kenny, The Hot Rock. Awesome LP, underappreciated. If you haven't heard it, please hear it. Awesome stuff. Um, don't talk like, get up. One song for you, The Size of Our Love, Living Exile. Are only a few examples of the awesomeness that is contained between these grooves. Honestly, it's... Great modern rock LP, 1999. I mean, not super modern, but not super old. It's the perfect gateway, so you have no excuse not to pick this up. But jokes aside, this is great, and you should definitely hear it. So, props to Slater Kinney, Billy Field. This is actually a great jazz 80s album type thingy. Not, I doubt if you've heard of this, you must be Australian, probably. But I digress. Great jazz album and. If you have an opportunity to at least see it in a record store or buy it for cheap, do it because it's actually quite solid and a lot of good songs on here. Um, yeah, try biology. Please try biology and give it a shot. Uh, John Coltrane, I love Supreme. And uh, yeah, one of the best jazz albums of all time, apart from The Black Saint and The Sinner Lady. Um, Definitely in my top 10 jazz LPs. I know I'm um, normie, whatever, sue me. Um, great album and would recommend listening to. Um, if you're not into jazz, this might change you. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but great album, would recommend. And the last 12 inch in my collection Weird Science, the soundtrack. Awesome. A lot of great songs on here. The best, the 80s has to offer. Well, not really, but awesome tracks though. So many good songs here. Um, I don't know if it's on Spotify or YouTube or whatever, but uh, the vinyl's not too expensive. If you can find it and pick it up, then please do, it's good. Um, but yeah, if you like 80s, please pick it up. Now, I think I have some 45s. I'm not sure if this is all of them, but 
I will show you some of them. Don Henley, The Boys of Summer with uh, A Month of Month Sundays. Um, Boys of Summer is a good track, I guess. Month of Sundays um, is okay. I've only listened to it once, but I remember not hating it. It's, it's, it's alright. Um, <coughs> Landlord and Message in a Bottle. Um, great little 45s. Would recommend. Um, I recommend more the LPs, but these singles are quite good. Um, but yeah, great 45. And Revolution and Hey Jude. Um, this this vinyl sounds terrible, but hey, I saw it for like 50 cents and I just got it and I'm like, hey, it's the Beatles. Just get it. But yeah, good 45. Love those songs. Uh, this Boy and I Wanna Hold Your Hand. Great 45 and would recommend both these tracks because they're not on any LP, so you can only get this on this 45 or Past Masters or whatever the compilation it is. But yeah, those solid 45. All right, God, that was all my vinyl. And I didn't even talk about all the crap ones that I didn't even show on this um, thing, but these are pretty much all the ones that I listen to and actually kind of care about, apart from maybe some exceptions. But thank you for watching this incredibly long video and being interested in my vinyl collection to the point where you're watching the whole video. But I digress, thanks for watching. Anyway, please leak. Um, a like or comment if you want to add something. I am in between and I'll catch you in the next one.